Avengers Endgame came out recently and today's video focuses on the most important character of the last two Avengers films, Thanos. First of all, this video won't be dealing with any spoilers from Endgame, though there will be some for Infinity War. If you haven't watched it, I'd highly recommend doing so if you're keen to avoid spoiler talk. Thanos has been built up as one of the biggest threats in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or the MCU for short, for around 67 years now, and finally we see him taking a prominent role being portrayed by Josh Brolin. In this video, I want to focus on how Thanos became one of the most endearing Marvel villains and how he became such a dominant force within the MCU on fulfilling his ambitions, but also why it's dangerous to empathise with him and how to identify his character traits that are to be questioned in real life. Just before we head into his endearing qualities, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, share this with friends and family on Facebook and consider subscribing for more. Ensure to hit the bell icon as if you don't, YouTube may not notify you of the latest uploads. Right, so let's understand why Thanos has come to be one of the most popular and dominant personalities in the Marvel Universe. Number 1. He displays incredible confidence and conviction. The first trait that Thanos showed that's endearing is confidence and conviction. The way he deals with situations without appearing to be emotionally triggered, even when things appear to be desperately close to the end for him, is a quality of a strong leader. People want to follow those with a cool head and well thought out decisions. Thanos oozes this in spades and shows it at all times. He never seems flustered or unsure about his choices. This helps him appear as a strong character, someone who personifies traditional alpha traits. Number 2. He shows feelings towards individuals Thanos on occasion showed feelings towards others, most notably in the events where he spared the life of his adopted daughter Gamora. This is exemplified numerous times throughout the course of Infinity War as part of his character development. However, this feeling is not limited to this single relationship. For example, as he talks about his plans for genocide being instant and painless as an act of mercy. Now, while twisted in the eyes of most people, it's still a sign that he's not completely evil or uncaring, and however little it helps, it does help make him just that little bit more appealing. The fact is, Thanos believes he's on a mission to save life before overpopulation causes acts of self-destruction leading to all life being lost. We can sympathise with him too, as in his backstory this is precisely what happened to his people on the planet Titan. The reality is, while most of us will struggle to look past genocide as anything but an act of evil, his reasoning and motivations behind it make it significantly easier for viewers to sympathise with his character. Number 3. He follows through on what he says Next, the most endearing quality about him is he does what he says. He takes action to get the Infinity Stones and he gets them. He says what he will do and he does it. There's usually little to no doubt whether he'll follow through with what he says and for most people, someone that dependable is a sign of a quality leader. Think about it, if most leaders in the world followed through with their promises, how much more respect would you have for them? That is assuming that you agreed with what they promised in the first place. From this, you can see that Thanos naturally displays traits of a strong leader, being confident, garnering sympathy and being reliable. This can be both positive and endearing, hence the popularity of his character in the MCU. But at the same time, very few would find his vision and purpose in line with their values. It's easy to understand whether Thanos is a good or bad guy. Given in Infinity War, his mission was to wipe out half of all of life in the universe. For anyone unsure, that's bad. However, that's not always the case with people in our lives and it can be easy to get duped into following the wrong leaders for their personality or promises. So what are some of the character traits that need to be considered before following someone? Well, in the case of Thanos, some questionable personality traits include Number 1. His confidence and conviction might be admirable, but his unwillingness to see other viewpoints is an issue. Let's face it, there's a number of questions Thanos raises that might actually convince people that his absurd plan is actually justifiable. His confidence and absolute faith that he's doing the right thing is actually an attractive quality in leaders. However, the major issue with Thanos is that his conviction is so strong that he's unwilling to hear out what others might feel or think. 
Great leaders usually hear other viewpoints to get a variety of perspectives before making a decision, ultimately with the good of those they're leading at heart. This isn't the case with Thanos, whose viewpoint is you're either helping him or the enemy trying to stop him. This attitude is one that bears resemblance to dictators, as they enforce their will onto others regardless of the feelings or views of the other person. Like Thanos, many dictators that have often come into power initially had support for their movement before it became evident that they had an oppressive nature. Number 2. He shows feelings but lacks empathy Similar to the previous point on not acknowledging the views of others, Thanos shows lack of empathy towards others, where he simply considers others as expendable and has no feeling or remorse of taking a life to fulfil his vision. What's vital to note is I'm calling Thanos non-empathetic, but not psychotic which people might assume here. The key difference being that Thanos doesn't relate to the feelings of others, but unlike people with psychopathic tendencies, he does have strong feelings towards others. This is most prominent in his father-daughter relationship with Gamora, who he has strong feelings for as acknowledged in pivotal moments in Infinity War, but at the same time showed no compassion towards her feelings or wishes. This attitude can't be described as anything more than selfish from a person trying to portray something otherwise, it's something to be wary of when following someone's vision. They may say all the right things, but when push comes to shove and they're in a position to take action, what are they doing and at what cost? On the flip side, there's a reason to argue the opposite. Entrepreneur Gary Vaynerchuk springs to mind as an example, who often on first impression gives off the feeling that he's self-absorbed and egotistical, yet testimonials from people who have followed him or have had contact with him suggest quite the opposite is true and he's fully committed to the well-being of those around him. Put simply, it's easy to get first impressions wrong, but dig deep and it's usually clear what the true nature of any leader is. Number 3. He is a destructive rather than constructive force This one might seem obvious, Thanos has built his mission on the premise of destruction in order to allow survival in his viewpoint. While his argument might be one that's convincing, as he identifies issues facing the universe in terms of resources, his purpose is ultimately one to kill and very few will be able to empathise with that. However, we see similar traits in the modern world with our leaders today. Take Trump, whose election in 2016 was built on breaking his opponents by attacking them time and again to build himself up. In the UK, Brexit was sold by Johnson and Farage on the premise of perceived issues with immigration, portraying foreign nationals coming into the UK as part of the problems within the nation. While there are circumstances that might need some level of deconstruction to rebuild stronger, in both of these examples we see that the individuals use destructive means to achieve for personal gain. While Thanos can be argued for not acting solely out of personal gain, which can ironically be argued as being a less selfish endeavour than the aforementioned real life leaders, his actions will wipe out half of all of life and with it a huge amount of innocent life forms. Simply put, that's mass genocide on a scale beyond anything we can comprehend in real life and there's simply no way to justify such destructive actions with such massive costs. We've also seen from real life examples how forced population control can cause significant issues in a given place. Take the one child policy from China that has left a serious issue with gender imbalance, as well as significant concerns around human rights. With Thanos' mission, who knows what long term effects it could have. The best villain of the Marvel Universe has finally been given some significant scream time and has had his story told, something fans have clamoured for for a long time and a momentous occasion in the modern cinema. In this video, you can see why this character proved to be every bit as popular as hyped and how this can be used to identify and question the leaders in our lives. How have you found Thanos' on-screen interpretation? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sharing it with friends to help support this channel. Thanks for watching.